Good morning. I never make enough coffee to last me all morning, so I end up having to make a second batch when I get to work. That's why I put a coffee machine in my office. It's Tuesday. Yesterday was a holiday. New week, new video, new goals. I have the world's brightest gloves. Airplanes are cool. Airplanes are really cool. Fun fact, my building is covered in equations and physics concepts, and that is an HR diagram. I just had a really interesting conversation with a guy from the Euclid collaboration, from the Euclid mission. Okay, there we go. So he raised a bunch of really interesting points that like LSST could provide a lot of the, a lot of the auxiliary data that Euclid needs, but there's no funding to do it. And it just got me thinking about all these examples where we have missions in different countries that if we would work together uh, and combine forces, we could be a lot more efficient about how we get data, how we share data. We could be a lot more efficient about how we actually accomplish the science if we could figure out the funding and the politics. This is one of the things I like about being at a place like UW. Is I didn't know anything about the Euclid mission because it's in a totally other area of science that I don't work on in astronomy until this afternoon when we had coffee and spent like an hour talking about the calibration data and all the little sort of side projects that could come off of the mission um, that it's not even designed for, uh, which is where a lot of the interesting discovery happens. So much discovery in science happens with the like table scraps. What I love about this chat I had with the scientist from the Euclid mission was it got me thinking about all these other data products that are out there that I'm familiar with that he's not familiar with. So he's telling me about the coverage they have on the sky, they're going to be pointing in this direction, and have these repeating fields, and it made me think, oh, wait a minute, I know about another mission, the WISE mission, for example, that was pointing at some of the same fields and has really complementary data. Even in a field as small as astronomy, there are so many data products and so many missions that you can't really know all of them. Sitting down to talk to somebody about something totally separate and saying, hey, did you know that WISE might have data that could be useful for this? And most times people are saying, I had no idea WISE was even still operating. The WISE mission is a good example of how I don't understand how funding works. You take this spacecraft, you develop it for years, you launch it into outer space, which you think has got to be the most expensive part of this entire game, and then you turn it off after less than two years. There's a happy ending for the WISE mission story. It got turned back on. And now there is this amazing data set covering almost seven years. I'm hoping to do a bunch of science with it. Ethan Kruse, who's a grad student here at UW, and I have been like playing around with this, thinking maybe we could use WISE to look for planets. I don't know, nothing's popped out yet, but it's an interesting side project. That's the other reason I like being here at UW, is there's a lot of people working on enough different areas that we can find interesting ways to work together. I can take the expertise I have in one data set, and Ethan can take his expertise in working with another for a totally other reason. And we can combine that to look for new science. Something you don't think a lot about when you're getting into science and you're studying for your exams, where the money comes from. And it turns out that's actually a huge part of what being a scientist is all about because you're constantly having to apply for grants and for telescope time and for resources and you're applying for jobs. So going back to my video from last week, time management turns out to be one of the most important skills, but also budgeting. Most of the sticky notes, most of the sticky notes that are on my desk right now have to do with budgets that I'm working on. And so while I'm working on this paper and my big struggle this week is to get this paper draft ready 
to share with my collaborators. I also have to get these budgets done for new grants. One of these is for a telescope that hasn't even launched yet. Time management and financial business. That's the real world. Shout out to the mom and the little girl who were walking around campus with Girl Scout cookies and had Venmo and so I didn't have to have cash. Thank you for making it easy to buy your product. I will happily eat these tonight.